In this video, we're gonna be using First Line Shave James and the One Blade Genesis version one. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Welcome in, and today we're gonna to be using First Line Shave James, and I'm gonna show you the splash right out of the gate because it has a beautiful color on the bottle. If you see that sort of peach sort of color on the bottle, uh, actually Michael Riley from First Line Shave sent the splash for free because he wanted people to see this bottle. He's very proud of it and he's very proud of the soap and he should be. Really, really awesome looking bottle. I think they're very unique and I like it a lot. Anyway, First Line Shave James, bold peach scent. This is not your super uber sweet peach. This is bold. This is a sort of a statement uh, peach. I think it's it's bold. Uh, let me put the notes for you right there because this one has a bit of a darkness to it. It's uh, Some of the notes are peach, cardamom, black pepper, saffron, sea salt, tobacco, cedarwood, vanilla. And I think I do get the black pepper, saffron, and it, it you definitely get the sweetness of the peach, but you get some other darker elements, which makes this, to me, a very, very unique and bold and I think awesome uh, peach scent. It is a little bit pricey. It's $23 for four ounces or $5.75 on a cost chart there, which is pricey. But honestly, because this has such a unique scent, I don't mind it. I don't I don't mind it. I really like the scent and the scent is strong. It is pretty close to what I would consider to be a high scent. So Nate or Low Scent Skeletor from BBS Live, this would not be for you. It is too strong for you. So steer clear of this one. Anyway, for everybody else who likes uh strongly scented soaps. This is stout. Now, I'll show you the pour there, but I want to mention I was gone when this arrived down to Charlotte helping my mother. My wife was also gone. It sat in the mailbox for a couple of days and it sort of resettled and that is no fault of the soap maker. If you're in a mailbox, it's probably over 100 degrees in there out on the sun. That's going to happen. So um, nice looking soap though. I'll show you the ingredients right here. And this is a tallow based soap. This is the 3.0 version of the formulation from uh, First Line Shave. And I think this is just really nice. And by the way, this is uh, Michael's son, his actual son. Um, and so that's what the soap is inspired by. And I believe he told me some of the proceeds from the soap will go to um, help autistic children, if I'm not mistaken. And so really awesome. And there's Michael's son. Um, it's really a beautiful thing, father to son sort of thing. Excellent side label, just a beautiful, a beautiful idea and I think a beautiful soap and we'll see how it works once we get to using it. The razor today, the One Blade Genesis version one and I have a uh, gem blade in there with the tab pulled off. So let's uh, let's get the lather. Here you see our soap and it has a nice hydrated lather and we're gonna mist it down. All the links for the products will be below today. Again, this one I would consider to be a, a fairly strongly Send it soap and you see we almost have 24 hours. I'm shaving a little bit early today. And let's get into it. The brush for today is the AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series, sort of a butterscotch looking handle. And there you see a well hydrated first line shave lather. The first line shave soap base is, is quite good in my opinion, the 3.0. Um, folks used to report getting some funk. I do not get it in the 3.0 base. And as you can see there, it spreads very evenly, smoothly. It was a little softer than I like, but I had no problems lathering it. Uh, down the road, say for a first line 4.0, I would like to see the formula a little bit more firm. I just like that personally, but I had no problems lathering it. And it this again is a nice, bold peach scent. I think it's very good. I think it's different from any, any peach scent that I've ever um, experienced. It has a sort of cologne quality to it, lack of a better way of being able to explain it. And as you can see, there are plenty of hydration. You might see a few little lumps in there from where I pressed it in the bowl. The sun really does a number in the heat on those on these <laughs> soaps sometimes, but still lather beautifully, still smells beautiful, but you might see a couple of lumps in there. No big deal, no big deal at all. All right, let's get down to business here again. Strongly scented soap. This soap is definitely, the scent is filling the room. It's no problem. And I tried the aftershave uh, yesterday, put some on just to see how I liked it and I did enjoy it. And it did hang around a while. So that's always good for me. I like that. Okay, 
let's get going with our one blade genesis. And the one blade, if you're not familiar, does pivot. I don't always engage the pivot. Um, you don't always have to. You can sort of shave without engaging that pivot if you want to. But pretty much you press this razor into place and go. It is an expensive razor if you buy it at retail. No question about it, but I didn't pay retail. I got this one used on Murphy and McNeil. And uh, I really like it. Where I will use the pivot some is going around the jawline there. Just sort of take advantage of it. But on the cheeks and so forth, they usually don't engage the pivot too much. But it's a nice shaver. In the version one, uh, you could pull the spine off the gym blades without modification, without further modification, and use them. And uh, it makes for a really effortless, smooth shaver. I enjoy using this, and I've used this quite a few times over the last couple of months. Used it quite a bit when I was on vacation. Very, very nice shaver. And the first line soap. The first line shave, I should say, soap here, doing its job very well. No problems whatsoever. Plenty of slickness there, as you can see the razor gliding. No problem whatsoever. Very, very nice stuff. I have never had any quality issues with first line. Like I said, some people report, and I believe I have actually experienced too, in some of the earlier bases funk. I think Fallout, for me, it came across extremely funky. <laughs> And that might have been some of the base, sort of uh, poking through the scent. But I believe in 3.0 that has been resolved. And this, to me, is a, uh, again, I think the best way I could characterize this scent is just to call it sort of a, a peach with some depth to it or some darkness. It's, I don't know that I've smelled anything like it. It is an original scent. I did ask Mike about that. And look at the look at the hydration in that lather. So this is a soap that's definitely capable of being lathered in a very creamy fashion to make it very slick. And uh, again, it's tallow. It's got a lot of skin conditioning sort of ingredients in it. If you are interested in that kind of thing, and you know me, I'm not. I don't really care um, because I handle my post shave needs in the post shave. But there are people who are concerned with that, and they, you know. And so if you are concerned, um, there's some very decent ingredients in this soap. And you can, uh, again, check that out if you please. But uh, it is a good quality soap. And I don't even mind that it's a bit pricey because I just love this scent. And this is definitely a keeper for me. I think this is the most unique peach scent that I've ever, ever experienced. And I have experienced a lot of peach scents because I love peach. Love the scent of peach. It's one of my favorites. And this, um, I would say, lack of a better way to explain it, is the most cologne of the peach scents that I've tried. Personally. Oh, and I do like it. I think it's pretty doggone good. And I think First Line has a tendency to be bold in their scents. And uh, they certainly were with this one. And so they sort of continue that trend. They, they uh, I don't think they put out very many soaps that are for the faint of heart in terms of very mildly scented. They tend to go bold, and this one is just that. Very, very nice. Plenty of slickness on that soap. And again today, we'll probably keep it to two and a half passes. And the half pass, I call that residual slickness sort of pass that I'll do going across on the cheeks. Just in the interest of saving time, both my time and yours, although I appreciate those of you who, who don't mind staying for a full three passes, but I'll save you a few minutes by doing this pass on the residual slickness. And as you can see there, razor just gliding with no problem whatsoever. So, Really, really nice, I think. And that's a testament to the soap. As long as that soap leaves some residual slickness behind, and this one certainly does, you're in good shape. Now, in terms of quantifying slickness, it's impossible to objectively do that. There's no way to measure that in an objective fashion. 
And so I don't really um, say X uh, soap is slicker than Y soap because there's just no way to do that. And also there's so many variables in that. How much water you add, how you lather. You would really need a machine to both make the lather and test the slickness. Um, you'd have to control every variable. Um, and none of us, you know, here on YouTube are doing that. So I'm not going to say this soap is slicker than the next one, but I will say it's plenty slick enough to uh, achieve a fantastic shave. And it feels good on the skin. And so I'm enjoying it for certain today. First line shave, James. Very, very nice. And the, uh, the, the label art there, Kind of looks like the James from the movie James and the Giant Peach, if you're familiar, or uh, Avond told us that was actually based on a book. And so if you're familiar with that, that might look uh, somewhat familiar to you. <laughs> if you're familiar with James and the Giant Peach, very nice. See if I got any stuff here on the neck to to touch up. This neck area is always the toughest. Let's do uh, just one final little bit of touching up there. We'll just put a little strip right there and touch that up and then we shall be good to go. And I hope you're all having a great day and I hope everything is well. And by the way, I want to mention something. If you have plenty of uh, hydration in your lather, as I do here today, the razor should rinse quite easily. If the soap is sticking to your razor when you're trying to rinse it and you're really having to, if it just doesn't rinse right off, you probably should add more hydration. That said, that said, the way you lather, do it in the way that suits you. Whether you're a bowl lather, face lather, you know, palm lather, it doesn't matter. As long as it produces for you a shave that is enjoyable, close, um, just enjoy yourself. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. As I said yesterday, the only wrong way to do it is to do it in a, in a manner which isn't enjoyable or to use things that aren't enjoyable. That's the only wrong way to do it. Otherwise, it's right. So, All right, so that was an excellent shave with First Line Shave James and the One Blade. Let me rinse and we'll come back into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our alum nose stinging. So that was a super smooth shave today, which was very nice. After the alum, we did a cold water rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Cucumber Magic because it's made by witches. I had an excellent shave today with First Line Shave James. To me, a bold and awesome peach scent. Um, it's unique to my nose. I don't think I've ever smelled anything like it. Don't think uber sweet. Think peach with some darkness in it. And I enjoyed it a lot. And I think it's a, a wonderful soap and a wonderful scent and a wonderful tribute to Michael Riley's son. Really, really uh, enjoyed it. Thumbs up on that. We used our One Blade Genesis with the Gym Blade, which was absolutely awesome. Thumbs up on that. Our AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Brush was awesome. Our Captain's Choice Bowl, of course, was awesome. We're going to close it out today with First Line Shave James Aftershave Splash, which Michael did send for free. Um, sometimes I'll just buy the soap because I'm not sure whether I'll like the scent or not. I would have bought this regardless. So yes, if this were not sent to me once I tried the soap, would I buy it? Yes, because I love the scent. Again, it's a bold, unique peach that I really like. And man, we're going to put this on. We're going to be smelling great. And we are going to be on a trajectory for a great day and I hope wherever you are that you set your course for a great day as well with a great shave. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.